mean, you think that you can just march into these countries based on some fundamentalist religious principles, drop a few bombs, topple a dictator and start a democracy? Gaming is a competitive market, so what would you do to get ahead? What if you could use the power of your brain, or more precisely, electrical currents to make your brain work even better? It may sound like science fiction, but the idea behind it has already been used by the US military to train drone pilots. And scientists believe that the technology could produce promising results, such as increasing attention and reaction time. From studies that we conducted so far, we found that when we stimulate brain regions that are involved in mathematical cognition, we are able to improve cognitive mass performance. I've heard a lot about how electrical stimulation to the right parts of my brain could give me a real mental boost, improve my reaction times, my math skills and so on. And I've been given one to try out, so I'm going to give it a go. Small electrical impulses are passing through to my brain and are supposed to give me a real mental boost and make me react faster, improve my awareness and generally give me an edge on my competitors. Several companies are now using devices much like this to quite specifically target gamers. But there are concerns. Because they don't make any treatment claims, they avoid the need for regulation. So this is the, the main part of the device and it's, it's made from plastic basically and involves four electrodes. Um, so it would sit on the head sort of <laughs> like this. We did contact Focus, the company behind the device, but despite repeated requests for a statement about its possible effects, we received no response. If they make claims um, about gaming, that is very far removed from the sort of treatment claims that might be to do with helping stroke patients or people suffering with depression that the medical uh, community is investigating. On its website, the company does say it isn't recommended for epilepsy sufferers, people with implants or those under the age of 18. The machines used by researchers are very different to ones sold online. In the lab, they're used under extremely controlled conditions for no more than 20 minutes at a time and only on participants who have passed strict medical checklists. After all, scientists are applying electrodes to the brain, which they say could have some unintended results. More is not necessarily better. If we stimulate more, we can even impair performance rather than improve. It will take more research to find out if this technology is completely safe and if it can improve your focus. Melissa Hogenboom, BBC News.